Good day everyone, if you're looking for a way to play the latest Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gaming to your PC then this is a perfect video tutorial for you to watch today because I'm gonna teach you where to get all the files, how to install them, how to optimize them to run your PC perfectly well. So if these are all the files that you need, there are only three files and also that you'll need to install an app called Reaging Some Layer. So for those who don't know, Reaging Some Emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games so long as you have installed all of these files here into your Regings emulator. Without these files, Regings cannot play Switch games. So I'm going to be hovering down here and I'm going to show you that I have Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and it's a 16 GB file size game and it runs quite well in PC. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get all of these files. And that the first one is to get the Regings emulator app. So I'm just going to open up a web browser here and just I'm just going to type in Ujinx Emulator. Hit search. Ujinx.org is their official website. Click on that. And then go to download here. And also, if you're using Mac, be sure to use a Mac OS version 11 or later version in order for you to install Ujinx. If you're using Linux, you can get here. And if you can, if you're using Windows, you can get the installer from here. So since I have already installed uh, the latest build of Regions into my PC, I'm just going to skip on the download and installation process of this because this is really easy to do and is really straightforward and anyone can do this. I'll just show you guys where to get the official build of Regions Simulator. So I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to assume that you have already installed Regions Simulator. So if this is your first installation of Regions Simulator, be sure to run and boot up Regions Simulator now. And you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files installed into your Ujinx emulator. So what are those files? So those files are the Nintendo Switch firmware and the Nintendo Switch keys. Both should be in version 16.0.2 in order for it to run and play the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game. And this game should be in XEI file format. And again, if you don't have these files, Ujinx emulator will not be able to boot up and play Switch games. So if you're asking me where to get all these files, Legally speaking, you can only get these files if you own a Nintendo Switch console, which is modded and has a custom firmware installed in it. Because if it has a custom firmware installed in it, that means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those system files, all you need to do is to copy all the firmware files and the keys files from your Switch to your PC. And in order for you to get the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game, there's no other way to do this, but you purchase the game, you buy that game, have a physical copy of that game, support Nintendo, and then uh, once you have that game, you can now digitally back up the game into an XEI file format just like mine here. So if you have a Switch and don't know how to mod or install a custom firmware in it and do the things that I've said, or you don't own a Nintendo Switch at all but want to play this game, then I'm just going to say the hassle and teach you where to get all these files. So in order for you to get all of these files here, I'm just going to leave a QR code here and you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you will be redirected to the page where and you can get all of these files. So once uh, you are in that page, be sure to do hover down into the bottom part. I mean, in the middle part of the website so that you'll get the XEI file format of Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Once you have that, hover down into the bottom part of the website so that uh, you'll get the firmware and the keys files from the switch so be sure to check out the entirety of the website so then you'll get all of this free files here so since you use your phone to scan and get onto the page to get all these files just transfer them to your pc using usb cable so i'm gonna assume now that you have already downloaded the files and that you have a copy of it in your pc it's time to install them to regions to do this just go to regions go to file open regions folder look at your system folder here and then open a key zip file for file here and then just drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder this folder should be empty because it's your first installation close in this folder it's time to install the firmware from the switch go to tools install firmware install firmware for xci reset file open that click on the version firmware here open this and it will say that we'll have to install this firmware file and hit yes and once done system version 16.0.2 is set to be installed and also here, uh, you will see that system version 16.0.2 will be as the same as the firmware version so that you will know that it is successful and it will show you all your Switch games and also their game icon. So, so if you see a game that has not has an icon, that means you are using an outdated firmware and outdated key. So be sure to follow all the steps in this video trail so that you'll get the latest versions of those files. So uh, the next step now is to optimize your Ujinx emulator to, so that you'll be able to play Tears of the Kingdom game. So to do this, just go to options, go to settings, and in this part, just pause in the video and copy every setting that you see from here on out. So in the game directories, uh, 
uh, this is where you'll put your Nintendo Switch games. It could be anywhere into your PC as long as you know where it is. And the Switch games should be in XEI or NSB file format in order for regions to detect that game. So as you can see here, I have the XEI file format of Legend of Zelda here, and that will be detected. Now go to input. Is you disconnect your controller here because it's really uh, better to use a controller with a mouse and keyboard and playing Switch games. Go to Player One and hit configure and locate your controller mine is a nintendo switch pro controller and i have set them up the same as the switch but if you have a playstation or xbox controller here you can just map them up according to your liking but the dead zone should be in both left and right stick should be in 020 percent so that there'll be no drifting into your playthroughs so once done it's safe now go to system so just pause the video and copy every setting you see here now I'm going to go to graphics tab. So this is the most important part. So be sure to copy everything too. So the graphics back and off rating should be on. Graphics back and API should be Vulkan. Your preferred GPU should be your dedicated graphics card. In the enhancement, uh, you should enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Resolution scale should be in two times resolution because that will make the game look more sharper and much more beautiful rather than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC can't handle that, then revert to the native resolution. But for me, two times resolution is the best. Post processing effect should be none. Upscale by linear, isotropic filtering should be auto, and aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. And once done, hit apply and save. Now your Eugene's emulator is now fully capable of playing, playing in Switch games and optimized to run uh, Tears of the Kingdom game and all of the previously released Switch games. So, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm going to show you guys a gameplay of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game into my PC because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't really want to show you guys that um, this game will run into your PC. So if I show you guys that uh, gameplay of this running to my PC, then my channel will get into trouble. My videos and my entire channel will be taken down because of Nintendo. So I hope you guys do understand on that part. But as a proof of this ritual that is working, I'm willing to compromise and show you a little bit of boot up in the title screen, but I'm just gonna uh, blur the screen from here on out so that Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strike into my channel. And again, please do understand on that part, okay? So, uh, Tears of the Kingdom game is now starting to boot up, so it may take some time. So. So now this is the title screen and it's now showing that the game is running. So I'm just going to stop the emulation here. So guys, as long as you follow all the steps that I've shown you in this video tutorial, you are be able to play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom into your PC with no issues at all. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. So just leave a comment, okay? And I will answer them so uh thank you for watching guys and please do subscribe to my channel because this will majorly help me out and thank you for watching again and goodbye for now